Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beatrice and I am the owner of Slideshow, a PowerPoint presentation design agency based in Sydney. In today's video, I would like to speak to you about six ways to engage an audience when delivering a PowerPoint presentation. My first tip for engaging with an audience is to ask a question. So you may want to begin after you've introduced yourself. Perhaps you might want to ask a question. Um, just get the audience to engage with you. It might be uh, something specific like, you know, what do they, um, what would they like to achieve or, you know, have they have a great day or whatever it might be. I mean, this will, of course, depend on the size of the audience, but just think about you know, maybe a show of hands, you know, who in the audience has experienced such and such and then get them to, um, to, to raise their hands. So just it's, it's a great way to, it's not only a great way, but it's a simple way of engaging with your audience. Tip number two is to inc include a video. It's a great way to engage your audience. Um, of course, it needs to be irrelevant. Um, often we do include videos in our presentations and they definitely do grab people's attention. Uh, you need to ensure that the video is, yes, relevant um, and also of very good uh, quality as well. Tip number three to engaging with your audience is to use images. So perhaps avoid too much text and use images that are aligned with what you're speaking about. Uh, they also need to be very good in quality. So high resolution images and large images, definitely better than having tiny, tiny images that people can't really see. And a very interesting fact is that our brains process images, visuals, 60,000 times faster than text. So keep that in mind as well. So similar to tip number one about asking a question is um, tip number four is to encourage audience participation. So again, depending on where you are in your presentation um, and you know what uh, information you're covering, you may want to engage with them again throughout the presentation, get them to raise their hands. Um, it might be even suitable for someone to come up on the stage. It, I mean, it really d depends on the type of presentation that you're giving. If it's a business presentation, then you may um, want to ask a question about, you know, a particular scenario. Have they experienced that scenario? Um, is it something that would, might apply to, you know, your, your client's business or whatever uh, the case may be. Number five is to use humor. Now, this can be a tricky one. Not all of us are funny. I know <laughs> I'm definitely not the funniest person and I would, I would find it quite difficult, to be honest, to include humor in a presentation. However, there are little things that you can add. It might just be a little statement, just a little comment um, and always be careful with humor as well because you don't want to upset people. You don't want to, you know, step on anyone's toes. So just be careful with humor. But if used correctly, it's a really great way to engage with your audience. And my final tip for engaging an audience um, is to use storytelling. And this is, I would have to say, my top tip. Um, out of all of these tips is to remember that you're really it's it's all about storytelling and this is how people remember storytelling has been around for you know centuries since the beginning of humanity people have you know told their story to other generations and that is um, the, the way that we have always communicated. So if you can think about an interesting way of delivering the content of your presentation, if you can tell a story, think of it as a, 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 a storytelling journey, um, take your audience on that journey with you. So I definitely encourage you to look at the presentation from that point of view. And finally, I'm going to leave you with a quote by John Medina. And I am going to read this, but he is a biologist with a special interest in brain development. And the quote is, and he summed this up beautifully, 
the brain doesn't pay attention to boring things so keep that in mind the brain does not pay attention to boring things um, next time you're preparing to deliver a presentation um, have that in the back of your mind thank you for watching if you enjoy the video please consider subscribing to our channel give us a big thumbs up uh, consider sharing the video as well and if you've got any comments or suggestions for future videos then please uh, leave those in the comments box um, below. Thank you for watching. <music>